What's your assessment of the oil and gas sector at the moment? Well, the recovery of global economy in 2010 reflected in the increase in global oil demand from 85 million barrels a day in 2009 to 87 million barrels a day last year. Non-OECD countries in the Middle East, Latin America and China accounted for the most of the increase. Last year, the Dubai oil price had averaged around $77 per barrel, up from $62 per barrel seen in 2009. We anticipate it is to be in the range of $80 to $90 dollar per barrel in 2011 and 2012. Whilst there are some factors that might swing supply demand balance, I believe that the overall oil tightness will resume and stay. In terms of natural gas, I see that the demand will continue to grow, partially due to its favorable environmental attributes. Finally, it is expected that activity in alternative energy over the next decade will continue to increase and PDT growth surely will not be left out of this game. Where do you see the best potential for growth in the sector? The best potential in upstream is in unconventional resources which measure production growth coming from LNG, deep water, and oil sand. PDT EP, our upstream subsidiary, recently made the biggest acquisition by any Thai company in an oil sand project in Canada. Growth in the petrochemical sector, including green chemicals, is also one that should not be ignored. We also see promising opportunity in renewables and low carbon energies. As the world is trying to push for the reduction of greenhouse gas. At the moment, we have laid out strong foundation in biofuel and we will seek to further develop so that the biofuel can be truly competitive. How has the sector been affected by the downturn? Everyone was hit hard in early last year, particularly in the downstream sector, whose demand was affected by the economic crisis. However, as mentioned earlier, we are on the recovery path. Demand, as well as the crude prices, have picked up. Overall, most oil companies have responded and survived. It turned out to be the times when everyone shifted the focus from growth to operational excellence and efficiency enhancement. The super measures such as Shell and Exxon Mobil announced major simplification and cost reduction program. PDT has pushed hard for operational excellence, inventory management, and improvements in logistics at what we call easy oil, is depleting oil companies must venture into unconventional oil and gas resources. Many national oil companies, the good example are the Chinese and the Korean company have been increasing active in, in acquisitions to improve their country energy security. PDT has also been active in this area. What was PTT's response to the more challenging economic environment? PTT Group continues to be prudent in managing our businesses. Especially we will number one, put for operational excellence in our businesses. Number two, die for synergies. As an example, we have a group wide optimization project called GISMO, it stands for Group Indicators Supply Chain Management and Optimization when it is successfully executed. It will reduce our cost significantly across the group. Number three, 
focus on growth and innovation. We will accelerate core business expansions, including related energy businesses, capture new opportunities. At the same time, we will not lose sight of innovation and knowledge management. Number four, work closely with our stakeholders. The challenges that we face in the future will be more complex as our business expand. The number of our stakeholders will grow. We must make sure that we work in harmony with all of them, both in private and public sector. These four points I just mentioned are the approach and preparation. But after all, it is our people who will answer to the challenges. What are your objectives for the year ahead? We aspire to be one of the world's 100 largest companies to perform at the top quartile in everything that can be benchmarked and to be nationally recognized at a company that is responsible for the environment and its stakeholder. In addition, I would like to mention three key points for the shorter term. First, we would like to enhance our focus on sustainability, and thus we wish to be included in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, or DJSI, in the short future. Second, we will focus on human capability and talent development. Finally, we would like to capture as much synergy as we can among the company in PTT Group. Leadership is key during these times. What's your take on leadership at PTT? A company that is so large and fully indicated like ours cannot be led by one person or small group of people in all aspects. Leadership is very important at all levels and thus we are addressing the issue and developing leaders at all levels across the group. More importantly, at this point in time, FPDT is venturing into yet another state of growth overseas. The makeup of our income and investment portfolio will change somewhat in the next five years and will change a lot in a bit longer. So do our leaders. The new phases of management will answer to new set of challenges such as foreign rules and regulation that we are not familiar with like the ones at home. The word green that had taken on a new meaning in our business connotation. The importance of technology and intellectual property that will be the differentiation among companies more than ever before. New stakeholder, company overseas, international NGO, foreign government, diplomat, we come into our picture more and more often. The people we never know could become our important stakeholder in the future. To ensure our sustainability, our future leaders are being groomed at all levels, taking all these factors into account.